This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. We'll we'll start off this with a funny one, man. There was this guy. You know how like rappers now love to be on live? I don't know who this guy is. He might not even be a rapper. He might just be like a dude that thinks he's gangster in the street or something. But I don't know. But that people like to be on live all the time. This guy got into a wreck, right? So yeah, his car wreck. And uh when he got out, he was like, look what they did to my car. Da, 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 da. Then some guys, he's wearing chains and all that. So I don't really want to show his face too much because I don't know. I mean, I would be pretty embarrassed if this went viral. So uh, anyways, these guys run up on him and they're like, yo, yo, say you're sorry. Da, 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 da. And then they just start like manhandling him, take his chains. <laughs> he gets back in the car crying. And he calls the police. The police come and he points them out. And I was like, wow. When keeping it real goes wrong, man. And a lot of these rappers are like that. See, like, listen, be who you are. I'm not saying I'm any different kind of person. I, I, I wouldn't. Per se, I wouldn't even be in that situation, right? <laughs> okay, like I don't, I don't fake that I'm something I'm not. You know, I'm not gonna act like I'm a gangster. I'm not a gang. You know, it's like, okay, but like when you do do that, you attract like a certain type of vibe, and you get called out for it, right? That's what happened with this guy, and a lot of rappers do this. They're not built a certain way, but they act a certain way, and then you attract that kind of energy. I don't walk around pretending I'm something I'm not, so I'm not gonna attract the negative energy. You know, and you won't either. Because you don't do that either. You are what you are. If you're a gangster, you're a gangster. If you're not, you're a regular person. There's nothing wrong with that, right? This is hilarious. I think it's on World Star. Um, look up. Uh, just, just, just. I'll, I'll, I'll try to put it below. But it's uh, fake gangster starts crying and snitches to the police. <laughs> yeah, yo, man. I mean, you know. I love all the cameras sometimes because we get to see crazy stuff. This is a sad, really sad story. Uh, Mendenhall two times. I wasn't familiar with his raps, but this is what happened. This is just like a horrible situation, man. So what happened was he's in Memphis. Uh, rapper starting to get a buzz and everything. And just this is just a case of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. So... Earlier that day, a person's car was stolen, a black Camaro or something. Stolen, right? This black Camaro pulls up in a uh, Valero gas station. And a, ki a young kid jumps out, goes in the gas station. Mendenhall, uh, Mendenhall just happens to be in the gas station. They come out at the same time. The guy that's looking for his car opens up on the, the young kid that took it. Mendenhall just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. And they were both lit up and they both passed away, man. I mean, so sad, bro. Like, and that's, you know, I'm not saying it's, it's definitely not his fault. It's just like, you gotta be so aware of everything that's going on. And I mean, some things you can't just avoid, man. I mean, that's crazy. That is crazy. So that that's that man. Uh ne next uh next story. Oh, Kevin Samuels gets on the Joe Budden podcast. Yeah, it's a good conversation. I, I listened to most of it so far. And you know, they're talking about how like men they're 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 feminizing men now and stuff like that. That's kind of true. I mean, they're they're they're, they're they're vilifying men actually, just the public, you know, and um they're taking away what a man, what it means to be a man, you know. And then he also talked about Saweetie and rating her a six. I agree with him. I've always tried to date girls that look naturally who they are. If they're mid in the middle or a six, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, for me, I'm not. But it's very rare you're gonna get a girl that's an eight. And with nothing on, she will have to put makeup on, dress herself up. And I might be honest with you, in Saweetie's position, she puts too much makeup on. Where it actually downgrades her to me. Okay, there's certain situations where she looks good. The lip filler and all that, girls go too crazy with that, man. 
unless you got really skinny lips, like a Kylie uh, Kylie Jenner or something, and you needed the lip filler. Come on, man. Anyways, I agree with his rating because if she didn't get all dressed up and everything, she wouldn't be above that. If she didn't have fame, she wouldn't be above that. I think it's an accurate rating. There's nothing wrong with being a six. Six is hot. Um. Then we got oh, NBA Youngboy has another child on the way, supposedly. Uh, baby number eight. This kid's moving, man. He's like, was he 20? Only 20 or something? Like or maybe 21 now? I don't know. Eight kids already? He's moving. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, yeah. Gets into it. The baby mama. They could have a reality show just on the baby moms. They, they all get into it. Um, one baby mom posts, he said it's cooler than my ice cream. I'm waiting to put back on my neck. It's all good. Believe that. Sincerely, Cantrell. Yaya calls her out. She, what'd she say? Man, I lost it. Hold on. She says, girl, bye. Yeah, come on, man. Are you guys really fighting over this? Like, it's, uh, I don't know, man. Anyways, that's all I got for you guys right now. I'm sure more news will come out. News will come out later, but yeah, it's kind of dry this morning, which is fine. I appreciate you guys. Uh, smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like the video. And if you want to join the channel below.